One of those experts who I'm pleased to introduce is the U.S. Secretary of Commerce, Penny Pritzker. In addition to her many responsibilities as the head of the Commerce Department, Secretary Pritzker has repeatedly spoken out on the importance of entrepreneurship. She serves as the chair of the Presidential Ambassadors for Global Entrepreneurship, which is a collaboration between the federal government and 11 of America's most inspiring and prominent entrepreneurs, including Tori Birch, Steve Case, and Daphne Kohler. Perhaps most important of all, she has firsthand experience with entrepreneurship, having founded and run five different businesses. We're very happy to have Secretary Pritzker with us today. Please join me in giving her a warm welcome. Wendy, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I want to thank the Kauffman Foundation for your stellar work in studying and promoting entrepreneurship in the United States. I also want to acknowledge the business leaders, experts, nonprofits, who are and government officials, uh, including Congressman Tabby Gabbard, uh, Tulsi Gabbard, who is here today, an Army veteran and a key voice of the new generation in Congress, as well as my friend Congressman John Delaney, uh, who brings a perspective of entrepreneurship to the House of Representatives. So I really thank you very much for having me here today. I join you today as Secretary of Commerce and as President Obama's point person on entrepreneurship. But first and foremost, I'm an entrepreneur myself. I spent 27 years in the private sector and started five businesses. So I understand what it is to have a concept but not know how to turn it into a business plan or into an entity to attract funding. I understand the fear and excitement of starting a new business and trying to attract talent when you have no revenue, no customers, just an idea. I understand what it means to adapt and modify your product to meet the market demands and then have the market change on you. It's both terrifying and exhilarating to be an entrepreneur. I was fortunate, though, to have the guidance, mentorship, capital, and fortitude to succeed. But that's a rare situation. Our administration wants to ensure that all of our entrepreneurs have the best opportunities to succeed because startups are a key source of economic growth and job creation for our country. In fact, across a wide range of sectors and regions, entrepreneurs and small business owners have generated more than 65% of net new jobs over the last two decades. And startups in high-tech hubs alone account for over 40% of new jobs each year, despite comprising only 1% of all businesses. As President Obama has said, entrepreneurship is one of our country's greatest assets. And as all of you in this room know, entrepreneurship is an essential and fundamental ingredient in our nation's economic prosperity. From the President to the Department of Commerce to the entire administration, we know that government has a critical role to play in supporting America's entrepreneurs. Our government does not create new companies, but we can help set the conditions for entrepreneurs like you to take risks, to collaborate, to find financial support, to find customers, and ultimately to thrive. Our job is to implement smart programs, institute smart policies, and make smart investments. Our job is to be a catalyst by helping communities build capacity to bring new inventions to market and by ensuring businesses have the tools to innovate and grow. Our job is to support and maintain a strong infrastructure of opportunity, including 
a strong education system, a skilled workforce, a rule of law, strategic investments in R&D, intellectual property protections, access to traditional and innovative forms of capital, access to the high-speed internet, and a culture and a legal system with a high tolerance for risk-taking and where failure can be a stepping stone to success. I'm proud that the Department of Commerce serves as the driving force behind the administration's focus on entrepreneurship and that our core responsibilities include supporting startups and empowering entrepreneurs. Every day at our department, we issue patents and protect intellectual property. We make investments in local economic development that support incubators and accelerators where entrepreneurs can develop their concepts and start putting their ideas into practice. We collect and disseminate data that informs better decision making and helps build businesses. We work to expand access to broadband and to protect a free and open internet, which is an absolute necessity for any firm, regardless of your business, in the 21st century. So since becoming secretary, my team and I have expanded our work. For example, to inspire the next generation, I am proud to chair what is called PAGE, the PAGE Initiative, the President's Ambassadors for Global Entrepreneurship. Since the launch of PAGE last spring, our dynamic ambassadors have been everywhere, throughout our country and around the world. I joined Steve Case in his Rise of the Rest bus tour, which raised the profile of entrepreneurship in nine up-and-coming startup cities. Daphne Kohler created a free entrepreneurship curriculum through her company, Coursera. Tori Birch is working to provide female entrepreneurship with access to affordable loans and networking opportunities. Hamdi Yulakaya started the Chobani Food Incubator, a program to invest in and cultivate emerging food entrepreneurs. The list could go on. In the coming months, we will announce the extension of PAGE or the expansion of PAGE, bringing new voices and initiatives into the fold to empower the next wave of entrepreneurs in the United States and around the world. Next, to provide companies with access to cutting edge technology, our department leads the National Network of Manufacturing Innovation, or NNMI. This initiative creates ecosystems where industry, academia, government come together to help local manufacturers not only produce new ideas, but scale and implement their latest innovations. Think of this as a collaboration of lab to market. From 3D printing to lightweight materials to photonics, NNMI can and will ensure our entrepreneurs stay competitive in the global economy and shape the next wave of advanced manufacturing in the 21st century. To bring the best ideas to the table at the Commerce Department, we reestablished the National Advisory Council on Innovation and Entrepreneurship, where top academics, business leaders, and nonprofit leaders offer advice on innovation, entrepreneurship, and industry-driven skills training. In the group's first meeting in December, these leaders identified tush, tough issues to tackle, such as how to better define and measure innovation, what the future of business incubation should look like, and how to modernize the labor market data to help entrepreneurs find the talent they need to grow. Finally, to strengthen America's entrepreneurial ecosystem, our Ec Economic Development Administration leads the Regional Innovation Strategies Competition. This program advances innovation and capacity building activities in regions across the country. This initiative provides grants to reinforce infrastructure 
through feasibility and planning studies for science and research parks. It invests in centers that help entrepreneurs move early stage ideas from the garage to lab to production and sales. And this initiative expands access to early stage capital by increasing the flow of seed funding to promising startups. So to give one example, this effort enabled Georgia Tech to create a new center where researchers turn early stage medical devices into prototypes that can attract capital and get into the market. In Georgia and nationwide, these investments help entrepreneurs turn ideas into sustainable companies. In addition to these efforts, which are existing efforts that we've been doing for a while, in the coming months, we're going to kick off something called Startup Global. This is a pilot program in Cincinnati, Nashville, Arlington, Texas, and Washington, DC. This initiative will help entrepreneurs and early stage companies to think global from day one by providing the know-how and technical assistance they need in order to export their goods and services. Startup Global will expand our International Trade Administration's client base to include startups, a critical part of ensuring that commerce partners with American firms, whether small businesses, medium-sized enterprises, or large multinationals. Today, we are strengthening our work through a new partnership between the C Census Bureau, which is part of the Department of Commerce, and the Kauffman Foundation. The goal of this partnership is to improve the way our government tracks entrepreneurship. Through this effort, Census and Kauffman will modernize and enrich the survey of business owners. Census will now conduct the survey every year instead of every five years, and rather than wait three years to publish the data, we will release it more frequently. This information will provide critical insights into the health of companies of all sizes, as well as tell us how firms are financed, how they conduct R&D, how they improve the production process, and how they innovate in general. This partnership between Kauffman and Census is one way that government can work with you to better measure, understand, and thereby promote entrepreneurship. At Commerce, we will continue to do our part. However, we want and need your continued guidance on where the federal government should improve and where we should get out of the way. We want your ideas, for example. What can we do to help small businesses and self-employed Americans hire at least one more person? How can we get more capital flowing to more promising firms? Where are opportunities to solidify regional strengths? How can we ensure more companies use our data to create jobs? And how can we empower more Americans with the skills and training they need to succeed. Working together, we can shape the next great era of American entrepreneurship and innovation. To best incorporate your ideas, I want you all to meet Josh Mandel. Now, Josh, where are you? Josh is right here. He's my senior advisor for innovation. Please use him as a resource for incorporating your feedback into our policy process. So despite all the challenges that we face today, the ingenuity, creativity, and optimism of our country's entrepreneurs gives us hope. As Commerce Secretary, I have seen the entrepreneurial spirit across our country. In Missoula, Montana, where a former music professor turned his passions for coffee and product design into a multi-million dollar company called Liquid Planet in Cincinnati, Ohio, where programmers are working on ways to better plan road trips around the country. In Phoenix, Arizona, where two young people used Kickstarter to develop a shovel handle that has turned into a company supplying an entire product line 
of ergonomic tools. I saw the spirit at the Idea Village in New Orleans, a business-led effort to cultivate the city's entrepreneurial ecosystem. The leaders of this incubator gave me one of my most prized possessions, a sign that sums up the true spirit of entrepreneurship, and it hangs in our offices. It says, trust your crazy ideas. That spirit has defined our nation's history, carried forward by everybody from Ben Franklin to Steve Jobs to Elizabeth Holmes. That willingness to trust crazy ideas has been a source of strength to our economy. That courage to try new inventions, even at the risk of failure, to challenge convention, even if you don't succeed at first, to dream big and ultimately achieve your goals, that is what makes our entrepreneurs agents of change and the living embodiments of the American dream. Thank you to the Kauffman Foundation, and thank you to all of you for coming today to discuss the current state and future of entrepreneurship. Thank you.